All right, welcome back everybody to the Retail Summit. And with me up next is the one and only Scott Cutler. He's the CEO of StockX. That's right. Thank you so much for coming over. We're really excited to have you on Entrepreneur My TV. My pleasure today. to be here. How are you? How's everything? I'm doing fantastic. It's great to be back in Dubai, and it's just been an amazing conference so far. Tell me a little bit, obviously, about the journey, you know, StockX, how it started, where are you guys at now? So StockX came into, the, um, came into being as a thought to recreate a marketplace experience based on the principles of modern day stock exchanges and taking the best of product-based experiences out of marketplaces focused on what we define as current culture, okay. which for our market is sneakers, apparel, accessories. It was really designed to be a marketplace and now it's a marketplace that covers customers in over 200 countries around the world and territories. Right. We have 700,000 sellers. We've got millions of buyers on the platform. And today, we, you can come to StockX and see the value of what something could trade for. Of course. And of course, people come to the platform to trade and to also purchase and consume the products. What, let's say, uh, vision do you have for the near future for StockX, being the, the CEO, obviously, of the... So we think about our leadership position as a marketplace and to be able to stay where the consumer is and then obviously where the consumer is going. And so as we look at a couple of things that impact how we view the world is that consumer preferences are changing all the time. And so we have to be very dynamic with our technology and our platform to stay relevant with that consumer. And that is typically a Gen Z, Gen right. A type of consumer. And then to be able to represent the right brands that those, those consumers preference. Um, and so for us, that involves a lot of, of technology and expertise around the, the definition of current culture, but also provide an experience that gives access to these consumers for product no matter where it's released around the world. Right. And when you think about the journey of how that happens, we not only have a platform that connects buyers and sellers around the world, but we have all of, a lot of back-end operations and logistics to be able to provide a seamless experience to connect that seller with a buyer. Um, and so we're making investments in that back-end infrastructure right. to deliver a fast and trusted experience. Would you say the Middle East is the future of retail? Well, the, the Middle East is so far ahead of so many <laughs> other regions in terms of the retail experience. Mm -hmm. And for us, the retail experience is really our, our app. So our we are the future platform. here. Well, on the retail side, right. and I think where there's opportunity is as the world of online and offline converge, how is it that they can come together? Mm -hmm. And so we see that opportunity to partner with brands or distributors or sellers that can essentially bridge those two worlds together. And do you think events such as this one, let's say, are important for, for people in the industry that can just come together, network, share their ideas? In the post-COVID world, the, the need to come together, to meet people physically, in it. person, we missed it. And it's, it's great to feel the energy, but right. also the connections that just don't happen virtually. And so it's been a great part of being here is to meet um, people in the industry, understand the market better here. And for me, it's been a great learning experience. If I were to give you a time machine, you can go back in time. What could you tell that younger version of, of yourself? I would tell my younger self to continue to be curious. Mm -hmm. And curiosity really drives um, a, a seeking for understanding. Uh, it means you're on a quest to learn something new, you're curious about different uh, cultures, you're curious about different places around the world. And I think that curiosity is what led me ultimately to StockX and being the CEO of StockX, to be open for a new idea and, to, and, and a new platform. And so as I, as I think about the future with both uncertainty as well as opportunity, I think you have to be really curious right now around how technology as an example is disrupting uh, right. the world, and how you, but also how you can leverage technology to, Indeed. you know, to advance innovation. Right. Well, Scott, it was an absolute pleasure speaking to you today. Yeah. Thank you for coming, and we wish you the best of luck, and hope to see you on Entrepreneur TV really soon once Th again. Thank you so much. Thank you.